The Punisher questline can be quite tedious, and although constantly going back to Shoreline has its perks... It has what, Blin? It can be hard. I'm pretty sure you just gotta get good in Rush Resort. Oh my god, you, you are an idiot. I think we gotta work on your manners there, bud. Part 6 definitely offers the most freedom, so today's quest is quite simple. Eliminate 15 operators using the mighty SVDS. The location doesn't matter, except factory doesn't count anymore. So I geared up and traveled to Interchange, with quite a devious plan. I should have brought the toilet exfil keycard. I have that now. That's an M4 outside. Alright, brother man. Gotcha! Don't you shoot me. Kill the scav, loot the scav. <laughs> Hello, brother. He's geared. I respect the drip, though. Where'd you go, bear? There he is. Hail Mary. <laughs> Dropped him. All right, two down, 13 to go. Bye. Okay. Why are you throwing nades? Hey, guy. <laughs> hey, my dude. Might have a friend. Hello, brother. Wait, he actually ran off, didn't he? Well, that's a player scav. Well, I kind of got carried away, and it cost me an easy elimination, so I simply reset and ran back. <laughs> Alright, you gotta be shit. Frank that one up. What? Dude, it's like he slipped and fell and broke his back. That's what it sounded like. He booked it. Okay. He didn't book it. He just sat there. Do you guys remember where do I need to stash the contacts? Avocado or outside? Oh my god, he's got the same quest. Oh my god! Oh my arm is What else do I have to stash? The gazelle? Thank you. 
So the power is on, the toilet is flushed. Then, go in here. It unlocks this door. And when you're ready to extract, you just close the door. Bada beam, bada boom. Four down, 11 to go. And although this raid was a bit slower, I simply used the opportunity to loot Kiba. And if it works, why change it? Bro started shooting at somebody. There he is. Good fight. Very good fight. Forty eight. Gotta love that. Bro had the same idea. I took cover to repack my mags, thinking I was safe. But then, of course, out of the blue. I'm dead. <laughs> All right, let's go finish decontamination service. Well, that could have ended badly, but I did the right thing and used the no backpack extract. A slower raid once again, but gaining 10,000 XP and 26 out of 40 kills in a single raid, I was happy. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, 
know what is going on can be touched this guy can't be touched cool it was getting kind of late so the servers were just empty but I decided to try my luck on streets of Tarkov I ended up getting one kill, and in the next raid, this happened. Stay there. That was a player scout. Yeah, he missed every shot. Good for me. How did I survive that? Well, I couldn't believe it either, but I got out alive. And this time I traveled to customs, knowing that one way or the other, I'll eventually end up in the dorms. Wait, holy sh- I'm dead. Not sure if that was a player. I think it is. Well, I got one. Is that- That was a bear. I suck. Let's not talk about that. That was some of the worst shooting in Tarkov history. I made up for it, but only like 30%. If I killed the other guy... That's quite alright, Scav. It's not quite alright. Okay, I feel a little bit better now. A little bit better. Well, I kind of made up for my previous bat shooting, and with three player kills, I decided to reset, but this time I got a really lucky spawn, so I decided to rush dorms, where I was welcomed by the scavs. Look at this, I was down at 100 HP. Well, if I get one kill now, I'll be happy. I'm back in the lobby and... 10 seconds. Just let it happen, baby. There's a guy behind me.
Sign our motherfucker. You don't quick peek the fair. Bushes. Sit down, boy. That's two. Oh my god, I'm so smart, I have a flashlight. I blind people. There's a lot more people. He's got a friend. Yeah, he does. <laughs> the dong. That is a gun. I kind of want to shoot through wood. I don't want to drop down, but I think he might have somebody else on him. Keep hearing shit over here. That's one of them. <laughs> Kill it with your friend's gun. I need nades, bro. Come on. Jesus Christ. How do y'all have nades? Oh, calm the fuck. There was another one? Yup, there was another one. And as much as I was careful to scout everything out and make the situation very confusing for him, there was simply no way for me to know there were two. But customs was definitely my battleground of choice. I bought a stock SVD, slapped on an OKB scope, and pushed on to find my last target. Why am I doing this to myself, man? Did I hear a pl person? I did. I don't even care, bro. <laughs> I don't even care. And that's how I finished the Punisher. You know, it's better to burn out than to fade away. Think of it as a town portal to my stash. So the Epsilon container was mine, and things were looking good. In the meantime, I also got busy with Shooter Born in Heaven, so keep an eye out on that one. But if you enjoyed this journey, make sure to subscribe and like the video, and follow me on Twitch because all of this was recorded live, and I'm streaming over there Monday through Friday. So until the next adventure, stay creative.